teams going head to head here, Smitty. How we nice know. is it to play with a solid second unit backing you up? B.A., it's a relief for everyone involved being able to consistently rotate fresh guys in and keep stars rested. It's a huge boost for a team. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. They've got Draymond Green. Stephen Curry is out there with Klay Thompson. Then there's Kevin Durant. Paul can't get it to go. Now the Warriors with it. Durant, the pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Here's Durant. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. That's good offense. Curry's always creating for himself or for a teammate. Paul against Curry. Griffin, a screen on Curry. Paul passes to Griffin, and there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off! Blake leaves you speechless. His dunks are out of this world. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Pass to Durant. There's a screen. Here's Pachulia. Some solid defense from Jordan. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Griffin. That shot off the mark. Green with the defensive effort. Outside Durant. Here's Pachulia. Pass to Thompson. Griffin pulls down the board. Now here's Barnes. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. And here's Jordan. Thompson with a steal. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Good. I love the play call and Blake with the strength, but also the touch to dominate inside. Ball against Curry. Pass to Durant. Knocked away. That one goes. Count it. Durant's got his second basket. Nice move. Boy, KD's length shows up everywhere. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star, Grant? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. I mean, what do you expect when you give them the clear look? That's just too easy. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. Now here's Durant. Playing the Clippers, he was nearly unstoppable. Down low. The kick out to Paul. Fires from deep. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Solid three-point shooter. Not his specialty, but you can't count on him from deep. The Warriors have gone two for five here in the first. And here's Curry for three. Sinks it from distance. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Now here's Paul. An important score for this team. Averaging around 25 and a half a game. Passing skills on another level. Chris Paul beats his shooters. Curry with it. Pass to Durant. From the high post. Rebound by the Clippers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. And it was an awful game defensively. They lost the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. If you're looking to get stops, that's not the way. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. To the inside. Here's Green. Out to Thompson. Pass to Durant. Let's the three fly. And it's Jordan with the rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. It's stolen by Curry. To the middle. 
Here's Green. Good setup. Green. Led him to the rack perfectly. Now Jordan. He's averaging about six points per game. Tipped away. They've got DeAndre Jordan. Barnes is out there with Griffin. Then there's J.J. Redick. And it's Collison in at the point. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Curry. He picked up 39 in their last win against the Clippers. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Here's Collison. He's covered by Curry. Green against Griffin. There's the drive. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Clippers lead by three. The incredible energy of Blake Griffin. Skilled at sticking with plays and finishing them off. Pass to Green. Durant looking around. Here's Iguodala. That one rolls around and rims out. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Reddick passes to Collison. Fires in the triple. And now it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. He's a great shooter, but not just a gunner. J.J. finding the open band. Pass to Green. Ran against Barnes. Outside Durant. Now here's Curry. That three's off the mark. Well, he was red hot in the first quarter. Hit three threes. Now suddenly struggling to find the range. Up top, Reddick. Curry against Griffin. Three from Barnes. And the Clippers hit again from deep. You see Griffin keeping his eyes up, looking for a hole in that defense. Outside Durant. To the paint. And they get it. Oh, Green just outworking the competition. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with this offense. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. PA? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Now here's Curry. Nine points in the game. Iguodala, the pass to Curry. Outside, Green. There's the three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Barnes in the post. Durant's there. Here's Griffin. Unable to get that one. Green with the defensive effort. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Here's Curry. Curry at the rim. The floater is a tough shot, and Stephen Curry has mastered it. Here's Collison. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Redick. Shot clock at six. Here's Collison. Misses the three. Used the pump fake well, but he couldn't capitalize. Oh, what a performance by Chris Paul. He's been the story for the Clippers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be back. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Kevin Durant is out there with Draymond Green. Then it's Klay Thompson. Then there's Stephen Curry. 
Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings, plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. And that one's good. Paul, oh. all-world type of player. Chris Paul doing it all. Curry against Paul. Left side, Durant. Back to Curry. Rebound by the Clippers. Jordan's got six rebounds here tonight. The Clippers in the lead. Jordan to screen. Rennick on the attack. And Green comes to help. Ball against Curry. Rennick outside. Outside Barnes. Here's Jordan. That one rolls around and rims out. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Outside for Green. From the arc. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. The versatility of Draymond. This team thrives off it. Does both the big and little things. Ball against Curry. Outside Barnes. Let's it go from deep. He buries it from three. Barnes has got six. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Curry, no good. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Pass to Jordan. Ball against Green. Here's Griffin. And from 16 feet away, he cans it. Now it's a seven-point Clipper lead. When he's draining jump shots, it's hard to know what you want to do defensively. What do you take away? And here's Thompson for three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. Let's it go from the wing. Paul can't get it to go. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Pass to Green. Draymond! Oh, such a force inside! Draymond has come out here with his eyes on the basket. Gives this offense yet another dimension. Outside for Redick. Now Paul. Redick outside. Jordan, the pass to Redick. And here's Griffin. Knocked loose. And they're on the break. Tries to keep it alive. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. To the middle. Paul with it. Now guarded by Curry. Pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Most of DeAndre's field goals are dunks. Exceptional at getting great position down inside. Ball against Curry. Thompson fires from way outside. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Ball against Curry. Paul looking over the floor. Pass to Barnes from the top of the key. And again, it's the Clippers converting. Green against Griffin. To the middle. Here's Jordan. Pachulia with a rebound. Pachulia's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. To the paint. Here's Durant. And 
Durant with the big finish. And you know KD was looking to hammer it down on that play. Outside Paul. To the inside. And it's going to be a three-second call. The Warriors leading. Curry with it. On the wing, Durant. They double-team Durant. And here's Green from the arc. Rebound by the Clippers. Barnes has got a rebound number five here tonight. Los Angeles has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Pass to Griffin. It's stolen by Green. And there's the lob. That's tipped. It's stolen by Barnes. They set a pick. The teardrop. Pachulia with a rebound. Pachulia's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. It's hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. And here's Thompson for three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Up top, Griffin. Green covering. Fades away. Griffin's shot is off. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. Pass to Pachulia. Green against Paul. And that one's good. Green. And the Warriors lead by eight. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. With the teardrop. And there it is for him. Paul's got 14 points now in the second half. Chris Paul has such a gentle touch on his floaters. There's no way the defense can get to that shot. Pass to Durant. Minute 32 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And for the Clippers, they're shooting at a respectable 49%. Griffin against Green from 13. And there's Griffin. That's good. On the assist from Paul. Now just a four-point Warrior lead. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Curry. Oh, Curry from way out there. He is abusing the defenders. Reason why he's coming off the pick and rolls once, twice, making the defense work, and then a result, bucket. That's the kind of leadership you want from Blake Griffin, a guy who wants to take those big shots. Ball against Curry. And it's Jordan with the rebound. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Top-notch play from Griffin. That was a bucket they needed. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Durant inside. He's guarded by Barnes. <laughs> and he sinks it. The confidence of Kevin Durant. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Paul. Money. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. When the game is close, Chris Paul is ready. And at least score who lives for clutch situations. And so it's Duran who brings up the ball for the Warriors. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. It's interesting. So many big, bruising centers in the league who can't shoot free throws, but Pachulia's actually pretty good at it. Tremendous. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Paul finds Reddick. Back to Paul. It's Barnes on the wing. 
No good with the triple. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Kerr, shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. One of the more unique free throw shooters, if you count Curry's mouthpiece. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. Pass to Redick. Stolen by Thompson. Outside Curry. And so the Warriors take the win. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. 